good morning. And uh, not just uh, good growth, but also uh, market leading growth. So in the majority of our markets, uh, we perform above market and in many markets, well above market. So very happy with our results. Yeah. Inevitably, I guess you should do well as uh, regions and countries come out of these pandemic uh, lockdowns. But if you look into the crystal ball for us, how does the first half of the year and the full year look from February? Yeah, so I always say we have a six weeks visibility, so the full year is still far out for us, but uh, we started the year well. So volume development is in line uh, with uh, Q4. Uh, we grew 16% in the fourth quarter, 20% for the full year. Um, and uh, January seems is, is holding strong. Uh, so, uh, yeah, optimistic, at least, for where we are now. I uh, just wanted to pick out a couple of points and just get your view. You mentioned in the release gross margin for the first quarter is expected to be modestly lower sequentially, also higher expenses. Could you just address those two trends and, and tell me whether they're purely seasonal or whether you expect them to continue? Yeah, yeah. so the, the margin is a seasonal effect. Uh, Q4 is our highest margin, 20.4% uh, uh, margin. That, that's a high margin, uh, higher than, uh, than last year. Very happy with that. Goes modestly down, but still compared to last year, uh, first quarter, uh, it will be up. Uh, but um, yeah, cost will be modestly higher because of the fact that our uh, recruitment process outsourcing business, so where we handle the recruitment function for large, mostly um, multinational businesses, is really booming. We have an above 150% uh, growth uh, in this business. It is already a world market leading business to begin with, but we have quite a few clients who are recruiting globally thousands of people. Uh, and then, of course, we have to put in extra people, but they come directly with revenue, so to speak. So very happy with that development. Um, you mentioned scarcity. Um, we saw this coming, of course, because the labor market, by and large, is a numbers game. And uh, that's why we are creating the biggest data set around uh, in our business. Last year, we had 188 million people uh, visiting our websites uh, looking for guidance and or jobs. And we're benefiting from that now.